National Chief, appreciate you taking some time for us here. Uh, what are your thoughts on today's budget? Well, after a very, very quick review, Dennis, you know, um, we can say that uh, through sustained advocacy, uh, there's sustained investments in education and in children and in water and housing, and uh, that's that's really really key. Uh, when you look at it, you know, on, you know the budget overall is about 4.5 billion for First Nations people, mm -hmm. uh, spread out over three to five years. And when you think about it in the last the last number of fiscal years, it's over 21 billion dollars for First Nations people. That's four Kelowna Accords. So no question it's moving in the right direction, but we have to maintain the momentum. You're not going to close that big gap between First Nations people and Canadians through one or two or three fiscal years. Long-term sustained investment. So um, when you look at this budget, you see over $300 million for education, post-secondary, over $300 million for languages, uh, $1.2 billion for Jordan's principal. Um, you also see uh, the, uh, the, the, for the First Nations that have entered into to negotiation on self-government, our comp claims, spec claims, that their loans or their advances are forgiven. So that's huge. So we, again, there's really some positive movement in this. And again, $4.5 over five years, moving in the right way. We just got to maintain momentum. National Chief, were you happy with the uh, funding that's been allotted for those two bills that are working their way through the House for languages and for child welfare? Well, again, C-91 is on languages, C-92 is on child welfare. Um, I'm going to always say more can always be done, and that comes through the implementation regulations and the piece co coming after the legislation is received for Royal Assent. I'm more concerned now that June is fast approaching. Mm -hmm. We need to, those two very important pieces of legislation to get Royal Assent. And then we're going to look at the implementation plan, and that's something we have to do together with the Crown to make sure there's adequate implementation procedures and mechanisms and the adequate financial resources to make sure that both those very important bills are implemented fully. Any disappointments? Anything, uh, National Chief, that you didn't see in the budget you were hoping for? Well, one of the things, and that's a good question, we always say housing is always a big issue on every First Nation. You know, we always say there could be greater investments in housing and, and in water and in sewer and all these other things. But housing is always something that's always going to be coming to the forefront. Mm -hmm. Good good accessible affordable housing whether you're out on the First Nations territory or in the cities that's a big issue always and more can always be done on that front but for me again when you look at the budget overall uh, 4.5 billion for First Nations people uh, you combine that with the last three or four fiscal years it's over 21 billion again that's four Kelowna Accords it is moving in the right direction we just got to maintain momentum and uh, you know to, to everybody listening like to Canadians especially like there's such a huge gap in quality of life there's such a huge um, hill to climb that you're not going to get rid of that that gap that exists in one or two or three fiscal years we got to keep doing these investments in water and housing and education and training and in children and you're going to get a better country and so it's moving the right way and so let's just maintain that momentum going forward National Chief we'll have to leave it there appreciate you taking some time this afternoon thanks for the opportunity Dennis.